For the second time now, my original plan was not to film anything this morning. Just headed up 81 North. It was just going to be a quick four or four and a half hour ride. Hit major traffic once I got into Pennsylvania. 81 Northbound shut down, so they had all of us getting off on the exit. Just surrounded by farmland. And uh, I've already been here for a half hour. And I mean, this truck's as far as you can see forward, as far as you can see backwards. Suck. This is my first time being in traffic like this. That bad of an accident to shut down 81 North is probably pretty bad. It's unfortunate. It sucks. And then it's unfortunate, you know, and then a byproduct of that is, is the traffic. And every one of us needing to get somewhere for our job. Uh, it just sucks all around. I don't know if it being a freight liner, if it matters or not, but last night, my bunk heater, uh, it just, even though I had it on, as soon as the temperature, the, the motor temperature of the truck went down, it was not blowing warm air. In fact, it was blowing freezing cold air. So like three o'clock in the morning, I woke up freezing to death. I could see my breath. It was 29 degrees outside, so it was cold in here with no heat on. I had to wake up, I threw all my clothes on and my jacket and my beanie, and I had to keep the engine, I had to turn the truck on and get the engine warmed up, which took 45 freaking minutes. And the bunk here, it got warm, but as soon as, you know, I let the truck uh, turn off and then I went back to bed, woke up at like five, it was blowing cold air again. Anybody know why or if there's a fix to this or if it's, I, I don't know, it just, it doesn't seem like that's how it should operate. I feel like there's something like a switch or a relay that just wasn't turning on. Air conditioning works great. When the motor is warm, the heat works great on it. Jonestown, PA at a Love's uh, Jonestown off of 81 North. Crazy busy. I got here at like 2 o'clock and there was four parking spots left. I went all the way around, four left. I took one of them um, and immediately after the guys behind me, they took them as well. It's crazy. It's crazy how fast these parking lots fill up compared to like in Indiana and Illinois and even Tennessee. Missouri was like empty. If you guys remember, I, w I went to Maryland on my last home break to see um, some friends and family. That was only like a one-time deal for me to park where I did in, in uh, Northeast Maryland. I had a, f I had a sneaking suspicion because I haven't done PA unless I went to Maryland. When I when I was coming going to Maryland, they had me routed all the way through PA. So while I was sitting in that traffic earlier, I was like, man, you know what? I'm gonna call just to make sure. Wouldn't you know? when I said, hey man, I just want to make sure I'm going back to Tennessee and not being routed back to Maryland. He goes, oh, uh, yeah, we're routing you to Maryland uh, in two days for my home time. I said, no, 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 no. Luckily, he changed it, he deleted that because I don't know how often I'm gonna be going there. I said, man, just put it back to, to my home in Tennessee. And uh, yeah, it was. I was that close to not calling in and double checking and I would have been in Maryland and then I wouldn't be home in time to see my brother's baby who's having a baby on the 13th um, hopefully he holds out to the 14th I did get another load 30 minutes after that so it's a good freaking thing I called so I'm delivering this load tomorrow at uh, 9 a.m. to that Qual Qualflex Goodman in uh, Pittstown and then I'm heading over about three hours give or take it's like 140 some miles to Volkswagen of America in Cranberry, New Jersey. I haven't done New Jersey yet in a truck, so looks like it's right off 476. I'm hoping I can take from Pittstown, I can take 476 almost the entire way. I'll take that. Uh, and then I'm heading to another Volkswagen of America down in uh, Lenore City. I think I've been to that one. I'm almost positive I've been to that one. Uh, that one's right below Knoxville. <laughs> They say 
that the water's freezing So I walked on down to the river bank They say that the current will pull you in So I jumped on it to let my body sink Well, I've made it to uh, Pittstown, Pittston, PA. I think it's Pittston, there's no W. Look at the backdrop in this place, look at this. What? Can you hear all the ice? So this place is pretty cool. That's probably one of the coolest places I've pulled into so far. This place is also just like uh, the Dollar General warehouses. You have to slide your tandems back, drop your landing gear, unhook your airlines and power line. And uh, yeah, pull forward a little bit. Yeah, just like Dollar General. But I'm gonna spend the next few minutes, look at the trees all the way up top there. This is awesome. You can see the different color and different, I think I, I assume that's different stone. Hey man, that's awesome. Nice easy drive this morning. Nothing special, no traffic. I'm gonna make some breakfast. So I have some sausage in the microwave, sausage links, and I have, uh, I'm gonna try this out. You still can't find sriracha hot sauce, but they had this for like a dollar at Walmart. Nah, we'll try it. Some, uh, I swear it's jalapeno, but it may be cheddar jack cheese and uh, some hard boiled eggs. What I'm also doing right now, getting my crock pot ready. This is like a, uh, every week I come out, I get one of these slow roasted, blah, blah, blah. Golden rotisserie flavor. Dude, look, not even five bucks. This thing's a pound. It'll roast the rest of the day. Truck will be smelling freaking awesome. And uh, that'll be dinner. Four bucks, dude, come on. And I got some sides. I'm probably gonna do rice. I think I usually do rice with these pork loins. But man, after sitting in a crock pot all day, it just falls apart. It's so good and it's so cheap of a good dinner. All right, my sauces and links are ready. Dude, it looks, I know it looks gross. It totally looks like the thing that come out of the guy's stomach in Aliens 1. You know, the blah, blah, freaks everybody out, freaked the entire cast out. I believe that was a uh, a trick. Who was that, James Cameron? No. Ridley Scott, I think, yeah. Nobody knew about it on the cast. Look at that thing, totally looks like it. But when it's done, my mouth's watering right now. Oh, man. so many people in New Jersey. That wasn't fun. That wasn't a fun ride at all. There were so many people on 295. Uh, I've made it over the Delaware Memorial Bridge and there's a, uh, I'm in Elkton, Maryland. My, this is where I grew up. Uh, there's a pilot right by a blue beacon and I pulled in there, you know, it's, it's six o'clock. The place was insane. No parking whatsoever. There was a couple of reserve spots, but I'm not paying $20 to park. And uh, there was like 10 trucks trying to get out of there with me. Uh, there was a little red light by the blue beacon. It's, it was just chaos. I'm starting to get nervous. I'm down to two hours and 40 minutes left on my clock, on my 14 hour clock. And uh, there's a little TA right across the uh, under, underpass. And I came up here just to try. And there was like four spots left, all blindside, backing in, but I did it. Uh, did it pretty good, I have to say. It did two pull-ups, but it was a blind side. I'll freaking take the win. I'm tired, guys. Man, what a stressful, <laughs> everyday stressful almost. I swear. I'm parked. That leaves me 603 miles to go. So tomorrow's going to be a 500-plus day. 
I don't have to fuel, I don't have to do anything, I just need to go. 95 south, 695, and I'm taking 70 uh, west to 81, and I'm going right back down 81, which is the road that I just came up. It's funny, my, my uh, ever since high school I graduated, my parents moved to Tennessee, and that's where my mom and her uh, um, her husband are, and this is the like I traveled that that exact route I traveled it 30 times growing up probably so it's pretty neat to travel the road I did in a car a gazillion times and now I'm going to do it in a semi so that's neat and I'm going right below Knoxville also I'd like to thank you for joining me I have now crossed 100 subscribers I don't think I've been uploading for a month so 100 subscribers in a month woo I don't remember if I showed you guys how I bungee this or not. I think I did last time. Just have <laughs> extra precaution. I got the bag, but I have two going through the lid just to make sure that lid doesn't come off or flying. And we can go ahead and turn it off because it's been a while. Let's. Oh, dude. The smell in here. Oh, I'm so excited. Like I said earlier, guys, five bucks. Five bucks for this. It'll feed a family of two or one fat guy and be a lot of protein and I'll have some leftover for maybe tomorrow night. I'll have the remaining of it, but uh, I think I have one mac and cheese with some rice and green beans. I usually eat green beans with this. Now the hard part is getting this bad boy out. Don't want to rip the bag. Don't be stuck to the bag. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Does it come right apart? Look at that, pulled pork, pulled pork. Heck yeah, guys, look at that, heck yeah. Now, I'm gonna scoop some of this juice out of here because <clears throat> this juice is where the flavor is at. Salt and pepper, mac and cheese, my last diet soda for the trip. Until tomorrow, guys, cheers. They say that the water's free. So I walked on down to the river bank. They say that the current will pull you in. So I jumped on it to let my body sink.